Hey YouTube, Shukun Shinobi here with a review of the SH Figure Arts EX Extra, whatever. Uh, Kamen Rider Black and Kamen Rider Black RX Battle Hopper and Acro Batter, respectively. They were um, Tamashi Web Store, Premium Bandai Store, whatever. Um, exclusives, and um, I picked these up from Yokata. Actually, I picked them up from Sintide, who picked them up from Yokata. Uh, he didn't want his pre-orders anymore, so I took over his pre-orders and I got them. So, uh, anyway, let's just go ahead and jump right in. I have Black and Black RX sitting here on standby waiting to see their bikes. So here's Battle Hopper, a picture of Battle Hopper right here. Black logo, Bandai Collector Shop, Masked Rider, Black, Battle Hopper, same here. This is a huge-ass package. I don't know why. I'm probably going to do this pose if I can. It's just kind of cool. It's the stand and the bike and the near them and everything that comes in the package. Black with the bike, sideways, near them, whatever. And just battle hopper right here, SH figure out the EX. Um, th these packages are huge, and I, they didn't need to be. This is the same size of package as M Machine Tornado. Difference being, Machine Tornado actually needed it. Th this one doesn't. But uh, anyway, uh, Acrobatter's box. We've got this basically the same thing. Acrobatter, uh, RX logo, Bandai Premium Shop, Master Rider Black RX, Acrobatter, huge ass box. And pretty much the same exact style going on, except in this one he's flying instead of going near. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with him either. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and just start with uh, Battle Hopper. Alright, so obviously it contains a Battle Hopper, uh, the Tamashi stand, the uh, pieces for the Tamashi stand, and then uh, hands for black so we can actually ride the damn bike. So uh, let's just take a quick look at the bike. Um, basic articulation on this bike is, uh, no, uh, it turns right here, the entire section of the bike turns. Uh, and that's about all. The kickstand is right here, made of nice die cast. Um, the bike itself is really nice. It's slim. It doesn't look like it'd be that comfortable to ride. But um, that's a completely different story. Uh, these are remolds slightly, if even. Um, I know they're repainted and reconstructed a tiny bit. Of the uh, that, the Sochaku Henshin releases. So um, all those features are on these toys too. Meaning uh, they can come apart. So I'll demonstrate that real quick on Ac uh, Battle Hopper. Acrobatter does it too. But I don't feel like demonstrating it twice. So, um, basically just pull it apart down the middle, and uh, as you can see, it comes right off. Uh, both those pieces come off. Um, these tiny pieces right here come off, except they seem to be either glued on or just on very well, because I can't get them off. But uh, then his head pops off right here. Uh, the Sochagu Henshin release came with one chassis and then two pieces, uh, or the armor. The armor pieces for a uh, battle hopper and acro battery and you just stuck it on there. So uh, uh, they're the same base chassis. So you could actually mix and match them and make some sort of acro hopper. But um, we won't do that because we are sane people here. So uh, there is battle hopper. Uh, the stand that it comes with uh, says all sorts of fun stuff. Uh, black, Master Rider Black, and Battle Hopper, Black Sun. A uh, nice silhouette-ish thing of Battle Hopper and Black here. This is an absolutely beautiful stand. I like it a lot. So uh, let's keep him over there. And break out Acrobatter. Alright, so Acrobatter, uh, really beautiful bike, um, I can make a Chopper reference, and Jason RV, and Saban's Mass Rider, and etc, etc, but I won't, um, like I said, it's the same chassis, so same function, left, right, near him, uh, kickstand, 
Uh, it's not, I think it's nicer looking than Battle Hopper myself. Um, it looks a bit more like an actual bike and not like a grasshopper on wheels. So, um, for all, I really like it. So let's just kind of set him aside as well uh, and take a look at Black RX's stand. Which doesn't seem to come with the pieces that the other one did. Oh, that's because it's right here on this one. Um, anyway, uh, Son of the Sun. While being a fair translation, I much prefer Child of the Sun because Son of the Sun just sounds weird. But anyway, uh, Silhouette here. Very nice looking RX. Common Rider Black, Master Rider Black RX, and Acrobatter. Uh, all that fun stuff. Again, really nice stand. I'm going to pause for a moment and build the stands and I'll be right back. Alright, so here we are. Um, one thing I do want to point out before I continue is that the Acrobatter does not come with additional hands for Black RX because he already has hands that uh, can hold the uh, grips. So, no extra hands for him. So, uh, anyway, um, let's just go ahead and start with Battle Hopper. Uh, really, there isn't too much to go over. Uh, just set Black on top of Battle Hopper and get him to hold... The bike, which is difficult from the angle I'm viewing it in. Like that. Get your ass back on the bike. Just like that. Okay, there we go. He's on the bike now. Uh, he doesn't have any weapons or anything, so uh, there's nothing really spectacular for him to do. Uh, so basically... Just kind of sit him where he's supposed to go, except that's not right at all, but I'm kind of trying to do this on the fly. So uh, anyway, near him, near him. Uh, it does have some nice little suspension thing going on here. Uh, that doesn't really matter at all. But uh, anyway, to do the bike jump-esque thing, uh, take that section, this section off the stand, replace it with that, and then go at an angle... Similar to this, move his feet, and then you want Battle Hopper to sit on the stand right here, basically, and then just kind of try to level it out, just like that, if it doesn't fall over, just like that, cool, that's actually pretty badass. So uh, he's all set, he'll go chillax over here. Uh, we'll do the same thing over here on, uh, on Acrobatter's stand. Flip, oop. Flip that around. Just like so. Uh, bring Acrobatter in. Set Black RX on top of him. Uh, Black RX is going to be doing this one-handed. Because Black RX has the awesomeness that is the Revel Cane. So if we just kind of chuck the Revel Cane in his hand, so he's all like, yeah, and, and stuff. So, uh, get him, get him situated on this bike. Again, I can't really, uh, get it to look decent. But, uh, he's probably a little bit di more difficult to s situate on this stand. Mostly because he doesn't have that well of, uh, grip areas compared to, uh, Compared to Battle Hopper. Like that, maybe, please? No? Okay. Uh. Um. Come on, you stupid. Like this? Stay? Awesome. All right, so uh, there you have it. Basically, um, I'm probably gonna keep these just because that's actually pretty neat. I'm probably gonna mess with his a little bit and make them look better. But um, they're definitely really cool. The bikes are nice. Um, I like them a little bit better than the Sochaku Henshin releases, only for the simple fact that um, you would need to buy two of the Sochaku Henshin releases in order to display both bikes. So um, I, I like this. I like this layout better. 
Uh, the stands are really nice. They're really beautiful looking, and I'll get uh, good photos of them. So uh, check out the photo galleries for these guys at flickr.com slash photo slash shinobi. And of course, uh, check out the blog at shukunobi.wordpress.com for all the latest reviews, news, updates, and release dates. So uh, until then, uh, t- thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and uh, have a great one. Bye.